welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am back from my trip, super excited. And yeah, I already published uh, both parts of the travel vlog, so go check those out. I did go to Phoenix, Arizona. It was amazing experience to go back to the US after two years. So go check out those vlogs. But today we are back to our scheduled and regular programming of weekly expenses and cash stuffings. So what has happened throughout these two weeks while I was gone? So basically I did spend a lot of money, but I do still need to wait for a couple of expenses to deduct from my account. So I haven't yet um, taken down all of the expenses. So that will probably come in next week's vlog, not vlog, sorry, budget update. Also, I think I have finalized the budget planner for next year. So I'm very excited to share that with you. Probably sometimes in November, I have to set it all up. And then I am going on a trip next week as well. So maybe a mini uh, travel vlog, another travel vlog is gonna come your way. And also what else? Uh, Duolingo. So if you are a language user on Duolingo and you're tired of the ads, I was and my friend told me a little hack how to get like a free um, membership without having to pay for the monthly fee. So I will insert my code here on the screen and also my code down in the description so you can join as a school uh, on Duolingo and then all of your kind of pupils can learn for free. So that's what I did. I created a school account and that's why all of the friends that use my code can use Duolingo for free. So whatever you're learning on Duolingo, make sure to add that code into your profile section to get a free subscription. Also, very sorry if you hear noises in the back. My neighbors are still working on their apartment. They're doing renovations and they're drilling into walls the whole day. So it's already 11 and they've been up since eight drilling holes, which is always fun. But okay, I hope my microphone kind of covers the sound. Let's stop rambling and move to what everyone is here for, which is the budget. So this week, let's start with the total expenses. We spent 35.63 in Groceries, 1821 in spending, 4403 in dine out, 2770 in subscriptions. I bought a coffee subscription for my coffee machine. 3650 was utilities for last month. 1417 was health. I bought some pills and also some antiseptic for my piercing because it got infected. Then 10 euros in gifts I paid, um, I donated to a charity. Then 152.08. I subtracted from Christmas because I bought a lot of Christmas things in America. So that went from that budget and then to 270 cents from travel, which it was kind of like expenses during travel. So in total for this and last week, technically, because last week I didn't write down the expenses was 539 euros and 02 cents. Perfect. Let's flip uh, to the budget there. And... Uh, that first week was the same. So first week, nothing changed because we didn't really do any expenses. But for the second week, our income was 480. And that's what we worked with. And let's see the rollover amounts. So I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 from groceries. So that's 36. Oh my God, that drilling, I cannot handle that anymore. I need to go for a walk or something so I don't hear it. Spending had a rollover of two, so that's 18 that we spent. And dine out has a rollover of five and six, which means we spent 44. Perfect. So five went into gas, 50 in rent and 15 utilities. And miscellaneous, we put five, but we are putting all of this rollover in there as well today. So let's see, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So in total, that's 27 in miscellaneous. So let's add the 22. And let's see. Plus 22 is 333. So we should have 333 in here. 200, 310, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. Ah, so no, no, sorry, 32, yes, not 33. I miswrote that. Perfect. 
So there's that. And let's count the actual amounts for the second week. It was 230 and 480 minus 230 is 250. So 250 we're bringing here to short-term sinking funds. 30 went into beauty, 20 into clothing, five into gifts, 30 into health, five in subscriptions and travel got 50. So in total, in short-term sinking funds, we added 140. So 250 minus 140 is 110. We bringing it down here to long-term sinking funds. So we put five in babies, five into car, 25 in deposit, and then five in pets, five in retirement, five in technology, and five in weddings. So in total, that was 55. 110 minus 55 is 55 that went into the savings challenges. And that was indeed what we put in the savings challenges, leaving us with zero euros at the end of the week, which is exactly what we want to have. So now let me flip through the weekly budget on my iPad. So today we are working with 520 euros for week three of October. Perfect. So we are putting 15 groceries, 20 in spending and 50 in dine out. We are putting five into gas, 50 in rent, 50 in utilities and five in miscellaneous. So in total for cash envelopes and spending, we are gonna put um, 50 plus 20 plus 50 plus five plus 230 euros. So 520 minus 230 is 290. That 290 is coming here to short-term sinking funds. And let me flip my cheat sheet. We are putting 30 into beauty. 15 in clothing, five in gifts, 30 in health, 10 in subscriptions, and 50 in travel. So in total, for short-term sinking funds, that's 140 euros. 290 minus 140 is 150 left. We're bringing that to long-term sinking funds. We are adding five into babies, five into car, 25 in deposit and then five in pets, retirement, technology and weddings each. So in total for long-term sinking funds, that's 55 euros and 150 minus 55 leaves us with 95 euros. And we're going to put all of that into our savings challenges. It's gonna be a fun video to film. We have zero euros left to budget at the end of the week, which means that each euro of our income has a place to go into our budget. So perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing of this paycheck. So make sure to stay tuned uh, for that. But in the meanwhile, I wish you a very wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.